everyone, I'm Selfie and welcome to my Lisbon Sightseeing Vlog Part 2. Hola, buen dia! Today is weekend and the sky is blue, so instead of staying at home, we decided to go sightseeing. We have been living in Portugal for a year now, but we haven't explored much of it. And today we are going to visit some historical sites in Lisbon, so follow us guys! There are three sites we want to visit this time and all of them are located at the city center, not far from each other. The first site is the Castel de São Jorge, sometimes known in English as St. George's Castle. After a short walk, we have finally arrived. Oh my god, it is very hot during the summer in Lisbon. How are you? <laughs> well, we got the tickets for free because we are the Portuguese residents. This is the maps of the castle. They have Portuguese, English, and other languages. You only need to scan them and you can get the map. As you enter the main gate, you'll see a statue of Afonso Henriques, the first king of Portugal. In addition to being one of most important landmarks in Lisbon, the South Zorz Castle is also a great place to get a look at the city from above. Oh my god, this castle is so huge! Oh my goodness! I don't know where to go! <laughs> After exploring the few points, now we are at the royal residence area. So it turned out, besides at the botanical garden, you can also find some peacocks at this castle. There are many of them here. I saw some of them are on the trees. I didn't know that peacocks could fly. <laughs> It's time to enter the castle. Since the 12th century, the castle has variously served as a royal palace, military barracks, and now as a national monument and museum, although most people visit for the fantastic views and gardens to relax in. Most of the castle were destroyed over the years, especially in the Great Earthquake of 1755. But we still can enjoy the remaining architecture of the medieval castle. Visitors can go up to the towers and walk along the ramparts for the most breathtaking views of Lisbon. The summer is brutal in Portugal. We should have done the sightseeing during the spring when it wasn't this hot. Oh my god, you're so tired. This bubble tea cafe is located 14 minutes walking distance from the castle. Ah, I really miss good bubble tea. I've tried some bubble tea from different cafes, but they were meh. Let's see if this one meets my expectations. Ooh, it looks so good. We are very thirsty. Let's try. Mmm, so good. So far, this is the best bubble tea I've tried in Portugal. Today is 
the new day. Yesterday, we were too optimistic. We planned to visit three sites, but we got tired and we decided to go home after visiting the castle. So today, we are going to continue visiting the other two sites, which are this uh, monastery. The name is São Vicente de Fora monastery and then after that we will go to the viewpoint not far from here so let's go you need to pay five euros per person to enter the monastery don't forget to get some gas ready in your wallet because they don't accept cards at the beginning of your visit, you will pass this beautiful entrance hall. It was richly decorated in the 18th century with inlaid marbles, glazed tile panels, and a painting on the ceiling by the Italian artist Vincenzo Baccarelli. In the next rooms, you will see the permanent exhibitions of the Lisbon Church and the Patriarchs. After looking around the exhibition, you'll enter the cloisters. The cloisters are completely coated with baroque glazed tile panels, which depict various profane scenes. This monastery is dedicated to Saint Vincent of Saragossa patron saint of Lisbon, whose relics were brought from Algarve to Lisbon in the 12th century. also houses the royal pantheon of Braganza. In this pantheon rest the tombs of almost all the elements of the dynasty of Braganza, the last and the largest in the history of Portugal. And now let's move to the second floor. What I love most from this floor is the Fables of La Fontaine tile panel collection. I spent half an hour just reading the fables. You can also take a quick look at the church from above before going to the rooftop terrace of the monastery. Let's go! Wow, it's so beautiful! Look at the view! From here, you can see that uh, viewpoint, the Lucia something viewpoint. After here, we will go there. Time to go to our today's last stop, Miradoro de Santa Lucia. <laughs> what do you call this? Tuk -tuk. Yeah, we're just, just having to do. Yeah. So now we are on our way to Santa Lucia viewpoint. It is a very popular viewpoint in Lisbon, and it is not far from the monastery. Don't miss this viewpoint. It is a very nice spot to enjoy the view of Tagus River and Alfama. That's 
that's it for today guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share this video and i'll see you in my next lisbon sightseeing vlog bye bye